I for to steer down this Soviet aircraft panel, so I hope it will be easier than the previous steer down. Uh, it is the PPK-23K-1, so it is a mission control panel apparently for Sukhoi or Sukhoi as you want, 22 or 24 bombers. This is the flight uh, computer control. This is the rocket selector and this is the ungraded bomb selector. Yes, I found one website with information about these buttons. Here actually we have cracked knob. So, apart from this we have display, nice uh, push buttons. And it is all, and it seems to be half empty. So let's open it. The previous teardown was incredibly tedious. The thing was hating me, it seems. But up this one will be a little bit easier. But from the start here already, oops, it is giving me trouble. Here I have to break the factory seal, as you can see. Yes, quite sad, but there is no other way to proceed. So I believe this teardown will be quite fast, since there is not much inside. On The other part was really interesting, but uh, I was not expecting so much problems. Stuck screws, uh, impossible to reach screws, lock pins that you do not see. This one should be quite straightforward. And it was not even possible to remove the front, uh, the back cover because of the uh, plug on the connector. Oh. We have one <coughs> bad screw here. It looks like. So when you open old stuff that has never been taken apart before. As you can see. Always, always. <coughs> okay, so this screw has an extremely thin slot. And it is blocked by stuff. By dirt or whatever. Just more recently, it is just a tiny a little uh, sorted screw, nothing particular, nothing that could be terribly hard to undo. Let me try the other one at the other side. Okay. This uh, screwdriver will fit, but Actually, it is failing because it will turn, but not the screw. <coughs> ah. At least. So now I can try the other one. So I was really happy to find this. Uh, because uh, it is not very often you get them. This was expensive, but one of a kind opportunity, so... Okay, I need uh, some action here, I will be right back. So, I... Up the Dremel helps to yes okay at least 
where the screw design here, they are actually a very bad shape that does not help at all. So it is coming off. I am able to unroll the connector. Yes, it is really nice this time, at least. And okay, we have a big empty space here, as you can see. Uh, two, a stack of two circuit boards, so it looks really like it was what it was in the other device. And then we have to undo the front piece, it seems to get better access. But first I will show you what we have here. Screw is loose this time. Yes, the same, exactly the same construction. Same hardware. So I believe in the front piece we will only have uh, anyways the buttons on the uh, display, but still I will open it. Uh, First, what we have, do we have here? So you can see these uh, devices have uh, captive uh, wire loom that you cannot remove when the complete wire loom comes with the device. It is uh, quite uh, weird why they do this. Yes, and you can see it enters here behind this cover and it is really integrated. There is no relay here, terminal board or anything. Really, it is part of the device. So we have, I was speaking about terminal board, we have one here. A little plate here with two resistors. You can see the uh, EV Teflon wrapping around the wires. On this board, one crystal, then some uh, very regular Soviet military ICs. Second board is the same, and uh, you know what? We do already see what there is inside here. So here is for you. Looks like uh, this is quite empty, but this. Uh, Display piece here seems interesting, so I will undo the front panel now and we will have a look at it. So, thanks to the magic of video editing, it is done already. And okay, uh, it looks like we have for each one of the displays. Uh, actually, uh, little driver board. You can see the very nice uh, buttons here, very clean work here. Uh, seems they are made with micro switches. Yes, really a nice uh, design. I will zoom in for you. Accelerator switches. Uh, okay, it looks like I will need to undo actually this uh, front plate here, and then I might be able to undo one of the um, displays to show you exactly what is going on. So one screw is coming. These screws here seem they are not uh, too tight, lucky enough. Very nice uh, construction, by the way, you can see. Uh, as you can expect for mission control panels for bomber aircraft. <coughs> Mm. 
Uh, nothing's now. As always, the last screw is stuck. Okay. So this is off. And yes, we have Uh, not sure how it will come because the cables are from the back but the device is from the front so it looks like even if I undo the little screws here I will go nowhere and I will not be able to extract the module but I will try Anyways, I would like to see at least the model number of the display. Here we are. Okay, so what is going on? So it is barely good enough. I will zoom. So you can see we have a display that seems to be socketed. Yes. Oops. Uh, Soviet 7 segment display with cut legs for some reason. Here is the uh, model number for you. And it is socketed on this socket that is attached to the either side of a little board featuring nothing at the other side here, so it is not worth showing you. And here, figuring one IC, probably a decoder driver IC for the uh, display. And it has a very nice beryllium color. Okay. About dead codes, we have 85 on the ICs, handwritten stuff, here you can see, very very strong construction, and I believe it is good for this teardown, we have seen everything in this device, so I will put this back together, and I hope you did enjoy it, even if it was quite uh, fast this one, not much to see. But uh, still, everybody loves Soviet electronics and Soviet avionics anyways, so it is always good. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.